All right, Tragles, what's happening? So the season finished almost two months ago. It's finally set in that we will be playing non-league football in the 2018-19 season. I'm making this video because I have an announcement to make. Now, in my last vlog, at the end of the video, I said I don't know if I'll be carrying on making any more videos or vlogs due to the fact that the season that we witnessed was just too much of an absolute disappointment. I said I'll take some time away over the summer and think about what I'll do. Well, I applied to be the reserve manager of a team called Bishop Stalford Swifts. They're step seven and they play in the ProFit UK Essex Olympian Football League. I sent in my CV with a cover letter and a link to my channel as well. I thought, I've got nothing to lose here, might as well. And let's be honest, the chances of me even getting a reply, let alone an interview, were very small. I'm underqualified in their eyes. And really, I set myself a task to go out and complete my level two. I'm halfway through that, I'm on block two, and then complete my level three before I even think about applying for roles in the game that I love so much. So if I get the job, it basically means my Saturdays will now be taking up being a reserve team manager. So that means no more Barnet, no more going away Saturdays, and no more vlogs. My time will be taking up being the manager of a semi-pro side. So, to my surprise, I actually got a job interview with them. And not only that, they offered me the role, and I accepted. They said they absolutely loved how I came across, and they loved my passion and enthusiasm for the game. I just thought that this opportunity was just too good to turn down. For someone, pretty much in their eyes, is underqualified at the moment, or I've got is my level one and I'm a Sunder League manager. So to be offered this opportunity now in my career, I thought I've got to take it because I don't know when another opportunity is going to come around. So I guess that this is going to be my last vlog explaining what's been going on over the summer. Right now, everyone connected with Barnet must be jumping for joy, knowing that I'm no longer going to be around making vlogs. I can see it now. TK's dancing on top of a table. He's cracked open the champagne. The balloons are out. The party poppers are out. The party has started. Everyone connected with Barnet from the media team to the players to the backroom staff even some of you fans out there will be glad to see the back of me no more lad math it's like christmas has come early it's a shame how it came to an end after the abysmal season we had and it seems like i'm one of the rats jumping ship like i'm not going to stick around and get behind the boys and try and get behind him to get back into the football league so with this announcement if you haven't already guessed I just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who have supported me over the time that I've been vlogging, who's come up to me, had a chat, who've bought my merch, who's subscribed, who's shared, who's liked. Honestly, thank you very much. It put a smile on my face when we was in dark times. It really did. Reading some of your nice comments. So just before I go, I'm just going to play a little video now to say thank you very much to every single one of you. Wow, this is hard. For years, I've been telling you guys Never to take no for an answer, right? You know this fucking deal that I'm about to sign? It's me taking no for an answer, you know? It's them, it's them selling me, not the other way around. It's, it's me being a hypocrite is what it is. So. You know what? I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! The show goes on! This is my home! They're gonna need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here! They're gonna need to send in the National Guard a fucking SWAT team, cause I ain't going nowhere! I can't leave you guys just yet. TK, put that champagne back on ice, mate. I'm sticking around. I did go for the interview and I did actually accept the role. But after a week of thinking about it and how I felt, weighing up the pros and cons, I just think that I would rather stick to my original plan, do my level two, do my level three, and then crack on from there. So I turned down the job. So I'm sticking around. I just thought if I can get myself a job now, well, I don't even have my level two qualifications. I'm only a Sunday league manager. When I pass level two and I pass level three, more opportunities are gonna be there for me, I hope. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share and comment below because I'm back, baby. <laughs> I'll see you later.